Yo, yo, YouTube, what's up with your boy, Sports and Fitness Rants? I'm back, guys. Click that like button. Subscribe to my channel. What's up, y'all? Welcome back, guys. Welcome back. Got another great video for you guys today. As usual, you guys know the deal on this channel. It's all about setting the record straight, stopping the lies, stopping the narratives, stopping them from rewriting history, man, holding these guys to a standard. And in this video, man, we're going to laugh and, and talk about something that a Le another LeBron James fan uh, has said to me. And uh, in the comment section, another, and <laughs> man, I tell you, boy, I, I don't even know. But uh, so I had posted that, uh, that, uh, that, that poll about LeBron James and Steph Curry and who deserves to be on the Mount Rushmore more. I'm not saying that both of them or either one of them should be on the Mount Rushmore, but who out of those two deserves it more to be on a Mount Rushmore, right? If you had to take one of those players, who would you think was just more deserving? And most of you guys picked Steph Curry. But we had some LeBron James fans obviously come through there. And one of the LeBron James fans commented that they, they picked LeBron. They said LeBron because if we're being honest, Steph Curry has made the game unwatchable at times. That's what their response was. Steph Curry made the game unwatchable. And we're going to talk about this video, guys, because I'm, I'm pretty sure that LeBron James has made the game unwatchable more than Steph Curry has. And we're going to talk about it briefly, guys, in this video, man. And I want to thank you guys, everyone across the world, everyone across the states has been supporting my channel. I'm truly humbled, guys, as usual, man. I want to send a special thanks out uh, to Keith Cool. Special thanks out to Keith Cool 8308 uh, Thank you very much for coming through with the super thanks. Uh, you truly humble me. Thank you very much, man, uh, for coming through, man. So special thanks to, to Keith Cool. Uh, 8308, man, for the super thanks. Thank you very much. And you guys know what to do, man. Turn the volume all the way up. Hit that play button. Remember, these videos are for educational purposes. And let's roll. Excuse me here for a second, guys. So, yes, guys. We are back with more comments. These LeBron James fans, I tell you, boy, there's something else, man. There's something different. And like I tell you, they, they're always giving you material, right? Just like LeBron James. You know, a lot of these guys, they hit me up in the comments section. They'll say things like, yo, this guy rolls out of bed in the morning to hate on LeBron James. And I keep telling you, goofballs, that I wake up in the morning, go about my business. And what happens? Things are sent to me by some of you guys that support me. And LeBron James just does these stupid things. It's on him. He does these things. And once again, we're exposing it. We're calling him out. We're holding him to a standard, man. That's what we're doing here. Once again, we're setting the record straight. So it's on LeBron James to stop being an idiot, stop doing goofy things, stop saying weird things. Like I said, just stop being who he's been. Like, stop being a, 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 be a true competitor. Stop walking off the court. Stop flopping around. Stop blaming your teammates all the time. Stop pointing the finger at the coaches. Stop playing the victim. Stop stay, start taking some accountability. These are the things that we're talking. That's on him. That ain't me finding things. I hate on LeBron James. I wake up in the morning thinking about LeBron. I don't care about this dude. I don't think about him. But it's LeBron James that always is putting himself out here doing these stupid things, man. Like I said, exposing himself. But a lot of these people, they come to the comment section. And like I said, guys, I posted that a poll of Steph Curry versus LeBron James, who is more deserving of being on a Mount Rushmore. Once again, not saying that they deserve or, you know, both of them should be on the Mount Rushmore or either one of them should be on the Mount Rushmore. But if you had to pick between those two players, who do you think was more deserving to be on a Mount Rushmore in NBA's history as far as icon, as far as impact, you know, what you've done for the game of basketball? And most of you guys selected Steph Curry. And, and I agree with that. Obviously, up to me, Steph Curry was more iconic or has been more iconic in his career than LeBron James. LeBron James, once again, like I've told you guys, does not have the iconic moments in his career of someone that, like I said, you would think he would have way more. The way they talk about LeBron James, the way they promote him, you would think he'd have all these iconic moments. But the person, you know, one of the LeBron James fans, left a comment saying that they picked LeBron James. And if we're being honest, you know, it's Steph Curry that's made the game unwatchable. So they're blaming Steph Curry for the game becoming unwatchable at times. This is what this person is saying. So once again, they're lowering the standard for LeBron James because it's LeBron James, in fact, 
who has lowered the NBA standards, that has, in fact, made the NBA unwatchable, like, not Steph Curry. I'm assuming that this person is talking about the Steph Curry three-point, you know, you know, barrage that's been happening in the NBA over the last, I don't know, 10 seasons, let's say, right? The three-pointers have gone out of control. Now, I've talked about Steph Curry on this channel, and I've told you guys, one of my biggest problems with Steph Curry is the fact that Steph Curry, to me, lacks leadership. His leadership, to me, is lacking. Not saying that he's a terrible leader or he has zero leadership, but his leadership is lacking compared to the other all-time greats. Remember, guys, we're comparing the greats to the other all-time greats. I'm not comparing his leadership to role players or lesser guys or the average everyday person. We're comparing your leadership values, your qualities, right, to the other all-time greats. And in that regard to me, Steph Curry's lacking in the leadership area, right? The way he's let Draymond Green run amok on the organization over the last 10 years, right? The things that he's allowed Draymond Green to do, it's it sabotaged them from time to time. So to me, Steph Curry's leadership has been lacking, like I said, more often than not. Also, when you think about Kevin Durant, I've told you another problem I have is him allowing Kevin Durant or recruiting Kevin Durant to come to the Golden State Warriors when Steph Curry was the leader of that team. And in fact, he could have refused to have a Kevin Durant come there, but he allowed that to happen. So he has to take some blame, some culpability there because we give Kevin Durant a lot of problems or a lot of heat for making that weak move. But overall, man, Steph Curry to me is, an, is a great player, man. Like I told you, I probably would have him somewhere in that top 15 to 20 range. It's just, that's me, guys. That's what I would think. I've never done a top 20 list, but to me, that's where Steph Curry would be. Somewhere in that 15 to 20 range, man. All right? Now, I know a lot of you guys out there, they think Steph Curry's top 10. And I've told you guys, to me, there's been no one in this era that's been playing that is a top 10 player. Nobody. Not Giannis. Not Joel Embiid. Not LeBron James. Not Kevin Durant. Not Steph Curry. Not Kawhi Leonard or Russell Westbrook or Kyrie Irving. I do not think uh, Nikola Jokic at this point in time is a top 10 player. Uh, Luka Doncic, I do not believe he's going to be a top 10 player. But as of right now, as it stands, the players that we've seen, their careers that have played out, to me, there's no top 10 players of this past era. I do not believe that. So to me, Steph Curry is somewhere in that 15 to 20 range. But we can argue that Steph Curry has been the greatest player of his era, right? Greater than Kevin Durant. I don't think there's any question about that, right? The impact has been greater, right? The on-court success has been greater than Kevin Durant's by far. And then we think about him versus LeBron James. This is what we're talking about. And this is where Steph Curry will expose a LeBron James. When we talk about the icon, we're talking about Mount Rushmore and what you've done for the game. Steph Curry's not known or hasn't been known for cheating the game, has he? Does anybody think that Steph Curry's cheating the game? It's, in fact, LeBron James, who we all know is cheating the game. Now, whether or not he's using PEDs is irrelevant. LeBron James has cheated the game in other ways by, you know, forming all these super teams, right? The same thing I just talked about with Steph Curry, allowing Kevin Durant to come to his team. But remember, Kevin Durant came to Steph Curry. LeBron James went to Dwayne Wade, and he also brought along a Chris Bosh with him and others. And then he did the same thing again in Cleveland, going to a Kyrie Irving with a uh, Kevin Love and others. So in that regard, LeBron James has cheated the game, right? He's taken away from the competitiveness of the NBA. So when we think about the Eastern Conference, when LeBron James was making those finals appearances, it, it, it happened and came during a weak Eastern Conference. And one of the main reasons why the, uh, the East became so weak is because LeBron James took Chris Bosh off the Toronto Raptors, which immediately made them a mediocre and poor basketball team. And then he once again removed himself from the Cleveland Cavaliers, which right there obviously made them a weak, a weak team because they built their entire team around LeBron James. So all those years, they built their team around LeBron James, and now he's not there anymore. The Cleveland Cavaliers, right, become a bad team. So now you weaken two Eastern Conference teams, right? So essentially, you're weakening your own competition. That's cheating the game. That's taking away from the competitiveness of the Eastern Conference, and that's why we do not give any props to LeBron James and his, yo, LeBron James went to eight straight NBA Finals. No one cares about that stuff. He went to eight straight NBA Finals right in an Eastern Conference that was weakened due to his moves, due to him cheating the game, once again, and not being competitive. So that takes away from the game. So when this person says that Steph Curry made the game unwatchable, LeBron James made it uncompetitive. He's the one that made the decision. That was on LeBron James, not Steph Curry. 
That's the biggest problem in the NBA since that decision has been the lack of competitiveness that we feel is going on in the league. They just don't look like they're competitors out there. And LeBron James is walking off the court early, not shaking hands, being a, a poor sportsman, being a sore loser. I do not ever remember Steph Curry being the sore loser like a LeBron James to that level. I've seen Steph Curry have some moments like in the 2016 NBA Finals when he threw his mouthpiece and hit a fan in the stands right out of frustration when he fouled down. I can't remember what game that was. It might have been game six. He fouled at the end of that game and threw his mouthpiece in the stands and hit one of the fans. That's probably the most frustrated I've seen him. But for the most part, Steph Curry, like I said, he stays even keeled uh, pretty much. He's not a sore loser. He doesn't hang his head as much. He don't walk off the court early like LeBron James does. So once again, LeBron James taking away from the NBA, right? Cheating the game, making the game unwatchable by walking off the court early, right? Being a poor, a poor sportsman and a, a sore loser. Look at the body language of LeBron James. Poor body language of LeBron James. Do you want to watch this? No. When we think about the standing around, the, the lack of defense from LeBron James. Now, that's a big glaring red flag, a black eye on LeBron James. That no one ever wants to talk about, his fans won't talk about it, right, as being unwatchable. Is it watchable for, for you to see LeBron James argue with the referees up and down the court every single night? That's unwatchable. I could never watch a LeBron James game. I don't care who he's playing against. I'm not watching a LeBron James team because LeBron James teams, they adapt the same mannerisms as him. The same body language. They're all doing the same thing. Look at LeBron James teams. A foul gets called. Everyone's got their hands up in the air. Everyone's got their shoulders shrugged. The palms up. That confused look on their face. Foul? What do you mean foul on us? We're on LeBron James team. How can you guys call a foul on us? Meanwhile, they're getting all the benefit of the doubt calls. All these free throws. Plus 500. Every season, essentially. And LeBron James still complaining? That's why it's unwatchable. LeBron James crying and moaning for fouls while the play's going on. His team is playing four and five. Is that watchable for you? Steph Curry ain't doing that. And Steph Curry's not known for it as his defense. But Steph Curry is at least present on defense. He's awake on defense. He ain't just standing there lollygagging, walking up and down the court. Then once again, the physical stature of LeBron James, it should allow him to be a great defender, but he's not. He's not. Steph Curry doesn't have that physical stature. LeBron James is lazy on D. So once again, he makes unwatchable. LeBron James has given us the load managing era. He's given us the flopping rules, right? All these guidelines, that's unwatchable. The flopping is unwatchable. Steph Curry don't flop like LeBron James. And even if Steph Curry did flop, I don't give a damn because Steph Curry is about six foot two, 170 pounds soaking wet. The problem we have with these guys flopping is that this era is weak. It's soft, right? It's not physical. So why are you guys flopping around? Ain't no one hitting you. Ain't no one pushing you. Ain't no one really fouling you. And guys are flailing and flopping all over the court, man. It don't make any sense. Where guys back in the 80s and the 90s, you, you flopped, so to speak. You flailed to try to sell something because the game was physical. You were getting hit. So it's understandable more so than these guys today. But Steph Curry... I would give him the benefit of the doubt for flopping over LeBron James at 6'9", 260, who's always bragging about how much shape he's in. He's always flexing on the court. The dude's a cornball, man. Flopping all over the place, cheating the game once again. LeBron James walking up and down the court. LeBron James blaming his teammates. Is that watchable to you? Do you want to watch LeBron James speak in a post-game press conference and talk about his stats and talk about how great he's playing? And talk about his teammates and what they ain't doing, never take accountability? Is that what you want to listen to in a post-game press conference? LeBron James make more excuses? Uh, we had injuries. Uh, you know, we weren't really healthy uh, all year. Uh, you know, I've, I've been dealing with this sore foot. Uh, hey, I'm averaging a triple-double, so I don't, I don't know. To, uh, I'm the best player in the world. Like, is this what you want to listen to? I've told you guys, a lot of these guys can't speak on the microphone. Steph Curry, to me, don't speak well, like a, a great motivational speaker or like that. But I'd rather listen to Steph Curry speak than LeBron James any day. At least Steph Curry will take blame. He won't blame his teammates, even though he probably should be blaming Draymond Green and some of his other goofballs that he's been playing with for some of the stuff that goes on. He don't do that, though. 
Steph Curry's been loyal to an organization. LeBron James don't know nothing about loyalty. So when we talk about LeBron James or, or Steph Curry, this guy says that Steph Curry made the game unwatchable. I, once again, you're not holding LeBron James to the same standard. And this is what I always tell you guys. They do not hold LeBron James to the same standard that they hold other players to. Steph Curry made the game unwatchable because everyone's shooting up threes now. Yes, and Steph Curry can take some ownership of that. But once again, Steph Curry being Steph Curry, that's not forcing other players to be like Steph Curry. Everyone wants to be like Steph Curry. So once again, that actually goes to him being a Mount Rushmore player as opposed to LeBron James. Nobody wants to be like LeBron James. Who's mimicking his game? What is his game? His game is carry, travel, offensive foul, and try to finish with a layup and not play any defense. Who wants to emulate that game, that play style? It's not creative. It's not beautiful. It's not fluid. It's it's clunky. That's LeBron James. He's always stumbling and bumbling out there. Steph Curry, you can actually watch him run around without the ball in his hand. He don't need the ball in his hand, Steph Curry. Coming off screens, moving here, moving there. Hitting shots from different areas of the court. Remember, different areas of the court. Inside, outside. That's not LeBron James. Who needs a ball in his hand all the time? Always needs a layup. Needs a screen set to get free because he has no dribbling ability. Always turning the ball over. Always stumbling and bumbling on the court. Doing that same basic dunk. That's exciting to watch. That's what you want to watch. As basketball fans, you want to watch LeBron James? Like, hell no. I'd rather watch Steph Curry all day, every day. So all these three-point shots that are being taken in the NBA, that's not Steph Curry's fault. That's the analytics. So if we want to blame analytics and say analytics made the game unwatchable at times, then yeah, we can maybe make that statement. But when we talk about players, and you want to talk about LeBron James versus Steph Curry, and we want to talk about aesthetics, we want to talk about creativity, we want to talk about how they play, or play the game, Right, how they impact the game, the iconic moments, what they've done for the sport. It's hands down Steph Curry. LeBron James, once again, has taken away from the NBA. He's given us the in-season tournaments. He's given us the play-in tournament, the load managing guidelines, right? The flopping penalties. I told you guys, LeBron James was the first player last season that was given a technical foul for flopping. LeBron James, guys, not Steph Curry. But this guy says that Steph Curry made the game unwatchable. No, the NBA players made the game unwatchable. And LeBron James made the game more unwatchable than Steph Curry. I'd rather turn on a Steph Curry game than a LeBron James game any day, guys. Any day. Once again, LeBron James' game is not... Do you want to watch his game? Nope. Think about this for a second, guys. LeBron James never even did a slam dunk contest. And he's known as a dunker. He promotes himself as a dunker. One of the great dunkers, he'll promote himself. And I did that video yesterday about this. But LeBron James is a dunker, right? <laughs> he clearly dunks the ball a lot. And Steph Curry's what? A three-point shooter. He clearly shoots three-point shots a lot. I'm pretty sure Steph Curry competed in three-point contests before. Did he not? So it would, be, it would basically be the same thing as Steph Curry never competing in a three-point contest because he was scared to go out there and lose a three-point contest or not perform that well when he's known as being a three-point specialist or a guy who's known as the greatest three-point shooter in NBA's history. So for LeBron James to never do a slam dunk contest, even though he's known as an athletic freak, a guy who dunks the ball a lot, that's part, that's part of his game, he's never done a slam dunk contest, it exposes him. And the reality is he never did it because he was scared, literally scared. That's all it comes down to. So once again, LeBron James has made the game unwatchable. It was LeBron James that destroyed the slam dunk contest. Steph Curry did a three-point contest. He contributed to the three-point contest, to its legacy. LeBron James took away from the slam dunk contest and destroyed the legacy of the slam dunk contest by refusing to ever do it. The big stars always did the slam dunk contest. The big name athletes, the high flyers, they always did the slam dunk contest until LeBron James. He destroyed that. But this guy says that Steph Curry made the game unwatchable. It was LeBron James that made the slam dunk contest unwatchable because he made it okay for the stars to not do the slam dunk contest. It was him who set that precedent. The same thing he does with all the NBA when he made that decision. He's the one who ruined the game by making that decision. He's the one that opened up the doors for all these other idiots after him to make all these trades, to request, I don't want to play here anymore. I want to be traded to this team. He did that. 
So now we got to deal with the Kevin Durants and the James Hardens, the Ben Simmons of the world. We got to deal with these goofballs, the Paul Georges. Like, we got to deal with these guys now because of LeBron James and what he did, his mentality, the way that he cheated the game. But, but Steph Curry made the game unwatchable. I tell you, these LeBron James fans, once again, they're not being honest. They have no integrity, and everything that they talk about is a lie. It is straight lies. LeBron James made the game so unwatchable, and it's clear as day. No one wants to watch his game. It's ridiculous, man. Once again, no one's out there on the court trying to be like LeBron James. Steph Curry's game is more fluid, right? Like I said, he can move without the basketball. He can dribble the basketball. And like I said, man, he ain't cheating the game like LeBron James been cheating the game. And like I said, he showed loyalty to Golden State, to the fans over there. Not LeBron James, man. He don't give a damn about the fans. It's all about the money and the fame for LeBron James. You guys know the deal, man. These are the facts, man. LeBron James fan says that Steph Curry made the game unwatchable. When in reality, it's LeBron James that has made the game unwatchable. It's LeBron James that has taken away from the NBA. It has not added to the NBA. Everything's about LeBron James. It's about him and that's it. That's all he cares about. He don't care about the game. He don't love the game. You know that. You guys know the deal, man. I'll catch you guys on the next one.